Here's an Omega Juicer Model 1000. There are several other models that Omega made of this type of centrifugal juicer and they all have this ring at the bottom. It may be black, it may be red, it doesn't make a difference. This is a rubber ring and it has these feet going all the way around. What happens in time, you'll find, is your juicer will be working fine and then you'll put it away for a while, it won't use it, and then when you go to use it and you start juicing stuff, uh, the imbalance in it will cause it to dance around all over the counter. This one, as you see, is staying put. There's a very easy way to fix this problem. The problem is with the rubber foot on the bottom. The rubber, in time, gets glazed. And when it does that, it doesn't have its grippiness that it normally would. So there's a couple of ways that you can fix this. Obviously, you can get a replacement ring. I priced them out. They're about 20 bucks plus shipping or so. You can find them on Amazon and whatnot. Uh, so that's one option. Or you can try to fix the one you have. There's a bunch of different tools that you can use. I ended up using my uh, four and a half inch angle grinder. You can see some of the red stuff in there. And I just turned it on and just basically went zip, zip, zip on each one of the feet that's there. And that gets rid of the glazed rubber and leaves you with nice fresh rubber that's nice and grippy. You'll feel the difference immediately on there. Sometimes yours may be too far gone, in which case, again, you can replace it, or you can find some of those furniture stick-on feet uh, that are like rubber things, and you can cut them to fit on there. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Something like these. They're rubber stick-on feet. They have adhesive on the back. You can glue them on better with hot glue, if need be, or anything like that. And the same holds true with this rubber. It may, in time, become glazed and if it does you can sand them down. Like I said I used an angle grinder but a myriad of other tools will work. If you have a like an orbital sander with sandpaper on it that would work. Even just regular sandpaper that would work as well. And if you did opt to use these you would want to cut them down to sort of the same size here. They can overlap really it doesn't make that much of a difference but I'm sure if you cut these in half uh, they'd fit on there pretty well and then you can pretty much have double the amount in the package here. There are 12 in here and there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve or so feet on here so you can use one per like I said or you can cut them down to fit. So that's what you can do to fix your Omega Juicer. This again was a model 1000 but there were several others that use this same system here. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please consider clicking the like and subscribe buttons. That lets me know I did a good job making this video and I can continue to provide them for you. Have a good day.